Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Socrates theme page template system. This also covers the speaker theme as well, since it's the same basic theme. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just show you the sample page. So right now, as you can see, I'm on the sample page. It comes with every default WordPress theme. So let me just show you some of the things you can do with this. Actually, let me go here, go to Edit. And so first off, if I go down here, you can see all the templates. So we have a full width template. So if I update that and reload this page, you'll see it's now full width, there's no sidebar. If I go to the home sections template and reload like this, what it does, it goes to a full width system and you can see how this isn't formatted properly. That's because it works with our Socrates shortcode. So in essence, I would go in like so and I would take a sections shortcode. Uh, got a little ahead of myself here. The sections shortcode like that I'm going to get rid of this text here and I can just go grab like for example I'll just grab the rest of this text here like so I'll dump it in the section content update and now reload and now I have an actual section with a background a lot of people don't realize that you can do this with Socrates but yeah you can create multiple different section backgrounds you can use short codes inside here you just have to put the actual code into the section template if that makes sense okay next I'm gonna cut out this that I just used and go drop that out of there and now I'm gonna change it to the landing page template and I'm gonna reload and there is the landing page template now say you don't want to have this title here I can go in like so and I can hide the title click update and I can reload and now there's no title you can put your own title in there if you want so now I'll go back and I can change this next to the left sidebar I'll leave the no title off and I can reload here and now you can see I have a left sidebar but I have no sidebar so I would actually go into appearance widgets like so and I would drag uh, let's just say drag a recent post into the left sidebar and now I can reload this and there's my left sidebar now I'll go back and I'll check the masonry template. Now this, what this does, this actually loads the posts. So this, you wouldn't actually have content. This is kind of like a blog page. So I click on update and reload. It's gonna load the most recent posts in a masonry format. Pretty cool, huh? So if I wanna do masonry left sidebar, uh, masonry with sidebar, sorry, and reload, you'll see it then has room for the sidebar on the right hand side. If you had featured images, they would appear in here as well. So next, I'm gonna go down to member area, and what this does is it actually gives its own custom sidebar. So you can see there's no sidebar here. If I went back to widgets, and I grabbed uh, the recent post again, and put it into the member sidebar. I can then reload, and I have the, a customized member sidebar. Now let's just say, for example, that I want to have a custom member menu. I can then go scroll down here and I can choose a member menu like so. Click on update, reload, and there is my custom member menu with my custom member sidebar. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now I'll go back here and I have a member left sidebar. Okay, next we have uh, page builder. So what this does is actually is for using a page builder like Beaver Builder or Elementor. This is just eliminates, strips out everything, okay? So if you're using a page builder, this would just be the leanest code possible for the theme, which allows you to have a really fast loading page builder template on top of it. So it doesn't make any sense if you're not using a page builder, but this is what this is for. So if you're using Elementor or Beaver Builder, you just use this page builder's template on all the pages and it'll be the fastest loading page builder template you can find. Uh, I hope, I assume. Next we have plain white, click on update and all this does is reload it and it's a plain white template, simple as that. Now while I've got you here, a few more features. Um, you can do all these other options as well. So I go back here to default template, click on update, reload. That's the full template. Let's just say that I don't want the header. I can go hide header, click on update, reload the header is gone now I just have a really cool simple navigation here at the top right kind of unique okay and then if I wanted to say hide the primary nav and only have the header I could do that click on update so now I have no nav nav bar underneath 
And you can also hide the footer widgets, hide the footer bottom and so forth. You can also hide ads. So if you're using the uh, Socrates in post ad unit, in page ad, you can hide it here per page. You can also hide this page from search. So it means hide it, hid from internal search on WordPress and also hid from external search. So it basically adds no follow, no index, uh, and it adds, eliminates the ability to search it. So let's just, as an example, um, I'm gonna click on update and I'll grab one word from here, like, uh, you know, Messer. I'll, I'll do Coladas. I go to Coladas, reload, and do a search, and no results found. If I go back here, unhide, update, reload the page, there's the sample page. Make sense? That's how that works. And then hide from members only means that only members would be able to see this page. If they're not logged in, they cannot see this page. It'll get redirected to whatever you set in the default function of the Socrates membership function. So redirect the sample page, for example, like that, and it'll get redirected to there. Okay, so that is a general overview of the page templates for Socrates, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.